Oh, Brighton have offered a contract to Chris Eagles. Okay, um, scout report. Not a worth saying it's not a worthwhile signing. I really don't know. You know what? If I can get him for five grand ish, he wants eleven grand. Currently discussion with Brighton. Here are my client's demands: full time rotation, immediate. I ain't I ain't paying you that much, mate. I'll go five thousand two hundred and fifty. Give you a little bit less signing on fee. Your agent can fuck off, and he can have sixty five grand. You can have the wage rise. You can have a bit more of an appearance fee. Your goal bonus is fine. International appearances. I don't think you're ever going to play international football for England again, so that's okay. Unused substitute fee is fine. Suggest terms. Right, they want a hell of a lot more cash. Yeah, Ash, no worries, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand you, but we've all got work. And luckily, I'm on week off work this week, so that's one of the reasons why I'm streaming now is obviously because I'm I'm off work. So I'll uh, I'll uh, yeah. So don't worry. Um, right, so you're saying Murphy is the main striker. So yeah, so Murphy. I know oh, we've got. I know there is potentially that, and well, obviously the way I'm looking to use the four-two-three-one formation. So I think we need potentially a, a right winger. Now in Jewish nineteen ninety-two, how are you doing, mate? Um, okay, I'm, I'm not. See, Chris Eagles is yearly wage rise. You can. You're not having a yearly wage rise. International. If you want to have an international bonus, you can do. Yearly wage rise of ten percent. You're not having that. And you know what? I'm going to walk away. I'm not signing Chris Eagles. He wants too much. Yeah, Jewish. I'm good, mate. Thanks. I'm good. Um, welcome. We haven't been starting that long. Just to let you know, we are Ipswich. Obviously, we are in the Championship. We are looking for players to buy. So, anyone has any suggestions? Let me know. Um, Norwich have made Misimovic bid. Misimovic has been attracting attention from Trabs on Sport. Right, this is a guy who, I mean, he's a Bosnian and Herzegovinian attacking centre mid. This guy's stats, I mean, they look shit up, and I think, I think we should sign him. We do potentially need a, although. Oh, this is retiring from international football on the fifteenth of fifteenth of August. So we're okay. Three yellow cards away from a ban in European qualifying under transfer bid. I think this guy. We should see how much he wants, and we don't know that much about him yet. Looks a bit slow. I didn't. I didn't even look at his pace between nine and twelve. Yeah, although. To be honest, you'd, you'd potentially say that Teddy Sheringham wasn't the fastest player in the world. Natural fitness, yeah, that is, yeah. Now you say it, Jewish, that that work rate. Oh, yeah. You know what, guys? Yeah, yeah. When you add in the work rate, the fitness, and the pace all together, I think Dave, you've summed it up, lazy bastard. So, Daryl Murphy out for five to eight days. Slava Park's Kenya report. This guy is another attacking mid. Levan Kenya. Need to word the language, very one footed, need to keep our eye on him. He's currently he's a current international with plenty of experience. We still don't know that much about this guy, but he's got decent pace. First touch is good. Three hundred thousand, we need to keep our eye on him. Um Bakali report, right. Using either foot was good out, need to learn the language, right. So Bakali why are you showing me these scout reports when the players aren't bloody scouted yet? Right, let's scout him scouting. Get scout report. Fulham Roberts, right. Patrick Roberts was another player I was looking at. Unfortunately, he, no intention of joining our club, Roberts will be more favourable to a loan move. Um, so yeah, we're, um, right, Roberts obviously won't sign full-time, 
Uh, ability to make the right decision underlines the player's lack of intelligence on the pitch, which is a worry for Roberts. He's only 17, though. Ian Henderson for right wing. Ian Henderson from Rochdale. Right, you know what, let's get the scout report for Ian Henderson. We'll add him to the potential signing shortlist. Sorry, sorry for, for those who uh, are um, uh, for watching on YouTube later. I'm just looking at the uh, the chat comments and we've got Ashley ITFC. No wonder who he supports. We have uh, Dave Fuckface. Welcome, who is a Ipswich fan also, and then we have Jewish1992, who is a Norwich fan. I think I'm going to spend spending more time on these guys in the chat than anything else right now, and then actually seeing what's going on with the game. Right, championship team to watch. Leeds, they're saying. I wouldn't have said that. Anyway. Right, we've got a friendly coming up. Huddersfield make a Chris Eagles bid. Ford accepts Cambridge offer. That's a shame we haven't got him in. Um, Terry McDermott has agreed terms with Middlesbrough. Uh, Luka Jovic was another player we looked at. Still absolute garbage in terms of what we need to know. Ryan Gold, review report. Might be worth keeping an eye on his development. Trans so what do you guys think of actually trying to get someone like Ryan Gold in? Whether we could get him in. It's one of those where I think he would be a fantastic player for us. I mean, he was great at, uh, at Dundee. Dundee U, sorry. Um, we can make an inquiry. And see what see what's said. I think um, Mensa free transfer will be the same. Mensa would be a good signing. Ken Locker's turned professional. Federico Nani, an Italian midfielder, wanted by a club. Who wants him? Vitrus Entella. So he's obviously not wanted by a high club. Right, so Fulham have now come back with a five hundred thousand pound bid, six hundred and twenty-five. You know what? Reject. I'm just gonna reject that offer from Sunderland. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna sort the squad out ahead of this game. I'm gonna want Baikowski in goal. Uh, right back is gonna be Luke Chambers. Left back is Tyrone Mings. Centre backs we're gonna go with Berra and with Tommy Smith. And then, yep, I fucked up, and then I can, I can change it around like, like that. There we go. Right, the striker was Daryl Murphy, but he's injured, so we're going to go with. Do, 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 who should we go with up front? I'm going to go with Noel Hunt for the time being, only because I need to use. Who the hell am I going to play? I'll tell you what. No, we can go with McGoldrick up top. Chambers is a natural right back. We might want to get someone else. Yeah, that is something that does worry me, is the fact that we don't have a right back. We'll have Jonathan, Jonathan Parr, but he's injured. But his best role is a, is a left back. That is something that I, ha I, I, I did notice last night. Elliot Hewitt. Best role, aha, uh -huh. Elliot Hewitt. There we go. You are my right back. Cole Scoose is going to be a centre mid along with Luke Hyam. I need to. Um, Dave, I don't know what your thoughts are, but Ashley last night when we were having a look at Ipswich was saying Teddy Bishop is a, play, is a, is a decent player. So what I'm thinking is to trying to use him as much as I can this season. So I'm going to get Teddy Bishop in the attacking med attacking mid centre role. We will go with Anthony Wordsworth, the attacking mid left for now. 
who it is pretty shit, just been, or well, pretty dot 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 dot, just been re released in real life. Interesting. Darren Ambrose, attacking mid right. You know what, yeah, that's how Freddy C is attacking mid left. Darren Ambrose, I've liked him for a long time, he's a fantastic player. Career stats. Charlton, yeah, I remember this. He had a couple of decent seasons with Palace. Yeah, I remember. It's a shame, you know, I'm just. Um, it's a shame he wasn't young, you know. I mean, he could have been a fantastic player. Right, and attacking mid right is the only player I need now. So let's get Ambrose in there. And then anyone that's fit can just go on the bench for now. And then we'll take it from there. I don't think we're going to have a full a full bench for this game. Um, what am I thinking? I was thinking something. Ah, let's see. Uh, God damn it. I knew what I wanted to do. Custom. Work the space for you. That was it. Um, Dave, any other... That was the one I wanted to bring up. Matty Clark, I knew there was one. Apart from Matty Clark that I've just taken up, is there anyone else in the under-21s that should be given a chance in the uh, in the, the the first team? I mean, Jack Marriott is out on loan, otherwise he would potentially give him a go. Michael Crow, I think that, that I think the keeper needs to stay in the um, uh in the under 21s as we already have two keepers Victor Goodbranson I know he came in and I was having a look at the at the clauses on the contracts and he is obviously he has just come in and has some decent uh, uh, some some decent potential about him but Marriott yeah, he's out on loan at Colchester so I'm reluctant to bring him in um, Alex Henshaw looks decent. Alex Henshaw attacking mid left. 20 years old. You know what? We'll bring him up for the pre season games. Dylan Connolly. Attacking mid center. He looks. Do you want to see if he can. If, he can, if he's a utility player that can play. Um, anywhere, attacking mid left, attacking mid right, and attacking mid centre. Then yeah, I mean, why not? Let's get him up there and see if we can. Just to, I'm just thinking of of giving him some game time. Jones wants improved deal for Scoos. Simmons determined to secure Scoos's signature. Is he right? Call Scoos is currently on 7.5 grand a week um, I think Scoose is going to be with us for a while so I'm going to look to keep him he's on seven and a half grand a week I don't really think he deserves a, a five grand a week pay rise so we're going to drop that down a little bit yeah yeah you're right Jewish Paddy Kenny has been around the block we're going to offer him we'll go 25 grand a week for his loyalty bonus his agent can sod off and have 60 grand appearance fee We'll knock that down a little. Unused substitute fee, knock that down. After reaching five international games, he can have 13 and a half grand. Yeah, he can have that wage rise. Suggest terms. Wow, he still wants that much money. We'll go to 1075. Drop that down a bit. Drop that down a bit. Suggest terms. That deal will work for us. Finalize the deal. And exit talks. Right. Uh, Mark Bissett has called with a question. Kit Salmons uh, showed little sign of being deterred to sign Scoose assertive. I would expect no less from him. We're both ambitious managers, and part of my ambition is to keep our best players at the club. So yeah, we're uh, we're rocking. We want to keep our best players. Players called him for international duty. Kevin Brew has been called up by Mauritius manager. Interesting. Didn't even see you in the squad. Are you out injured? Due to travel international team. Where are you, Kevin Brew? I didn't see you. Ah, there you are. You could be a half decent player. See you, Ashley. Have a have a good time at work, mate. Don't uh, don't work too hard. 
<laughs> Only joking, mate. Have a good one. I'll, uh... Jewish, is he? Um, I've obviously... I'm doing this, so I haven't seen the team for for tonight's match. Can you tell me, are Mertesacker, Giroud and Sanchez all starting tonight for Arsenal? And also Larson and Defoe. I'm th it's my fantasy team where I've got some. Uh, I was, I was second. I'm down to fifth, and we're we're, we're a tenner a man in. And yeah, I, I I can't catch top, but I can get back to being second. So I could do with. So we've got Ospina and Bellerin. Pantillimon starts. Interesting. Right, first game. Here we go. Continue to opposition instructions. Um, apply team advice. Continue to team talk. Give overall team talk passionate. In fact, we want to use a calm team talk for that one. Uh, you can play without pressure. Today's all about fitness and performance. That is correct. That's all it is about is fitness. Start match right. I don't know if actually you know what I need to make some change. Obviously, we've not played a game yet, so match speed can be brought up. Highlights. Highlights are only going to be key. That's all we really need to worry about. Right. So we've got a throw in here. Mings has the ball. I have to tell you what. I am looking. I am liking the look of my. Uh, my graphics. I've got a new uh, PC. Obviously, I haven't had it for that long, but my graphics card seems to be working like a freaking treat right now. I'm liking this. Ooh, I don't like that long ball football. I am um, gonna play it, fella. Don't fucking get rid of it. Uh oh. Thank God for that. Oh, McGoldrick two on goal. McGoldrick has a chance and puts it just wide. Ooh, deflected. It's a corner. Uh, Bishop whips the corner in. Good header. Was that by Sears? I think it was. Didn't think Freddie Sears was that that tall of a player. I remember Freddie Sears when he went from was it Colchester to West Ham? And yeah, I thought that was a. Uh, I thought he was he was full of promise and just didn't materialise. This is the friendly. Just stick to the result. If you don't if you don't like long football, you're the wrong team. I can look. I'll have. I'll have them playing little, little football, a little, little one-touch football across the back. Don't worry. We'll soon make those changes. Well, we'll try anyway. Right, nil, nil after sixty minutes. Bajkowski with a huge hoof forward. Gone to Yaha, and it's now with Da Silva to Boss who shoots and Baikowski puts that out for a corner. Could do with defending this and counter attack. Good play out to Boss. Bonk now to Boss. Yeah, good block. Go on. Come on Scoose. Up the wing mate. Up the wing. That's it. McGoldrick. Take him on. Skin him. Oh what the fuck was that? Into C is to high him to Scoose. Who has a shot and that goes absolute nowhere. Right. Let's make some changes. Luke Chambers, centre back. So let's have you on. Brew, centre mid for Scoose. Noel Hunt can come on up front for McGoldrick. Wordsworth can come on for Sears. Paul Taylor, attacking middle left or centre. You can come on for Teddy Bishop then. J Tab, let's have you on for Hyam. And you know what? Dean Gherkin, let's have you on. Just make some changes. Give, uh, give just give as many as many plays as we can to run out. Try and get like I said, it's just like I said before. It's, this game is just about getting some. Uh... Oh, Bishop! Oh, fuck, Bishop! You should have put that in the back of the net. Um. Well, and yeah, yeah. Um, Jewish just asked how long Berra was banned for. Obviously. Oh, Fuck's sake, VVV go one look. That's alright. 
But yeah, Jewish was asking how long Berra was banned for. Um, and two games as it is. And I said, look at that free kick. Over. Oh dear me. It's the backup keeper, so I'm okay with that. Well, that's pretty poor. Um, yeah, to be honest, I think it was a, a... It was an... I wouldn't say needless sending off. I felt like he needed to do it. Because it's one of those where... I'm always under the... I, I'm always of the mentality and... and oh, great goal from fucking Noel Hunt. He's not been called Hunt before in a long time. Um, yeah, I think the Berra sending off was was a, a much needed sending off. I'm I'm under the impression that for for a defender to do that, he's, he's running the risk of being sent off, which is... Um, which is okay because... Well, he's running the risk of sending off and, and giving away a penalty. He's going to give away a penalty whether he gets sent off because he's um, the referee deems it to be um, intentional, or whether he's potentially falling over, or he looks like he's going to fall over and gets the gets the um, and and handles the ball. As Noel Hunt has another chance, and that's gone for a corner. But yeah, I think Berra's sending off was justified in terms of. If I was in his position, I'd have done exactly the same thing because you, to me, as as a defender, I'm stopping a goal. Yes, I may get sent off. I'm probably going to give away a penalty. I'm definitely going to give away a penalty. But there's a chance my keeper could save it and we could stay at nil-nil. So for me, Berra, Berra did exactly the right thing there. And I would, if I was his manager, yes, I'd be fucked off. But I'd also just be fucked off with the whole team that they got to that situation. And yeah, I think it was... Uh, don't worry about the result. He's getting our fitness levels up. But yeah, I think Berra was, was right to handle. I think it needed to be done. It had to be done. Yeah, and Dave's right. It was a natural instinct just to do it. But I think, yeah, if it, uh, I'd, I'd have done the same thing. Um, Pennant report... Avoid signing too many doubts about this player. They're saying no intention of joining a club. We have a professional group of players and he won't join. Removed from shortlist. Okay, so Jermaine Pennant is one that's not coming in. Um, too many doubts about this player. Lack of any real strength hinders physical presence. I know what they're saying and I know what my scouts are saying, but... I want Martin Udgaard in the team. I think it could be f absolutely fucking brilliant to have him on loan for a season. He's only 15. Transfer. Transfer offer. I want to loan him. Where does it make? Just let me loan him. All I want to do is loan him. Um... Why can't you let me loan him? God damn it, unavailable for loan, that's why. What a bastard. Um Okay, Brian Christine we have an offer for. No, oh, you can't loan fifteen year old see even though he's down as even though he's been contracted. I think we should be able to loan him. There's a basic understanding of our language. Midfielder centre, this guy could be fantastic. Ryan Christine. We don't know that much about him. Best role as a midfielder, centre, advanced playmaker. So you had Paul Taylor on the bench. He's pretty bad, but you might get some good money for him. Paul Taylor. Valued at 600,000. Attacking mid-centre. Yeah, so... Should I put him? Jewish promo is promotion a realistic target? I don't know, mate. It's one of those we've only got a million to spend, and I don't know. I know we need a right back, and if Daryl Murphy can, if we can keep him fit and get him back to fitness, we could be okay there. We may need another centre back just to have cover central midfield. I don't know whether see, see Paul Taylor. Do I put him on the transfer list? Um, it's one of those where 
if I put him on the transfer list, I don't know if I'll be able to get his full value. I mean, we could look to potentially try and take five, if we can take half a million for him. That could be something we look at doing, is taking half a million for, for Paul Taylor and using that to, to strengthen the squad elsewhere. But it's a case of, at the moment, I prefer to bring players in. <laughs> Taylor is also a girlfriend beater in real life, so a bit of a twat too. Yeah, anyone, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely a bit of a twat. The only time your girlfriend needs a spanking is if she asks for one. And by that I mean when you're in bed with her. 